Hey everybody, on today's video, what I'm going to do is take you through step by step on how to set up a Ledger Nano S. In terms of keeping your cryptocurrency holdings secure, then getting a cold storage wallet that is completely disconnected from the internet is probably your best option. By doing this, you are preventing your wallet from unauthorized access, cyber attacks and all other vulnerabilities that any system connected to the internet is susceptible to. I know a lot of people still like to leave their cryptocurrencies on exchanges like Coinbase, but these large exchanges hold so much cryptocurrency that they have a massive target on their back. Like if you were a hacker, you would most likely be trying to come up with ways to hack Coinbase rather than some guy who has 500 euros worth of Bitcoin. At least with these cold storage wallets, you know you have complete control over your private keys and you have peace of mind when you are sending or receiving cryptocurrencies to or from your wallet. The only vulnerability that these cold storage wallets have had in the past was that a partner of Ledger who was responsible for delivering the devices to customers got hacked and all of their customers delivery details such as their home address and everything like that was leaked. So if you want to be safe when you're buying one of these wallets, just make sure and get it sent to your work address. This Ledger Nano S that I'm going to be showing you how to set up is one of the cheaper models on the market at the moment and it retails for about €59. Euro. If you are buying any Ledger products then you can get 10% off if you use the link below in the description section. This may be worthwhile if you're buying one of the more expensive Ledger wallets like a Ledger Nano X which retails for around €120. Euro. So anyway let's start setting up the Ledger, I'll just show you what comes in the box. In the box here you just get your little device which opens up here and has a little screen on it with two little buttons on the top that will help you to maneuver through the different settings. Also in the box you get a cable to connect it to your laptop or your phone and you also get a little gearing if you plan on carrying it around with you. And lastly you get a couple of these cards which is useful for writing down your 24 word seed phrases. This seed phrase is very important because if you lose your device then you can back up your wallet on a different device using this 24 word seed phrase. Right so let's set this bad boy up and I'll talk about some of its drawbacks compared to the Ledger Nano X as we go through this tutorial. So the first thing you are going to need to do is go to the ledger.com website and download the software that you need which is called Ledger Live App. So this can be downloaded for Windows, Mac and Linux and you can also get it on your mobile. Ledger supports over 1800 different coins and tokens so there's a good bit of choice of what you can store on the devices. And you can find lots of manuals and learning materials here on the website also. What a lot of people don't realize as well is that you can actually earn staking rewards for a lot of different cryptocurrencies using a cold storage wallet and you'll be able to check out on this website which cryptocurrencies are compatible. So now I have downloaded the Ledger Live app I'm going to get started on setting up the Nano S. So first off just click started, accept your terms and conditions, enter Ledger app, then I'm just going to select the device that I'm setting up today which is the Nano S. This is my first time using this Nano S so I'm just going to click on that option. You can also restore a wallet if you already have a seed phrase set up. So here it just gives you a bit of information about the cold storage wallet. It tells you obviously that you have control over your private keys as one of the main selling points of the wallet and you're doing it completely offline. And you can even buy and sell your tokens on the Ledger Live app. So now we are ready to get started. They give you a bit of information here on what you will need to get set up. So they just say to grab a pen and paper and set aside 30 minutes and to try and stay alone and do it in a quiet place where nobody is going to be looking over your shoulder. So you can try and set it up through the Ledger Live app or you can also do it on the device itself and that is what I am going to do. The first step to setting up your device will be connecting it to your laptop or whatever mobile device you are setting it up with. and. Then we will go ahead and go through the different steps to get set up. Once you have it plugged in, you should see your welcome message. And as I said, there's two buttons on the side to navigate through the different options. So we can toggle left or right by clicking on either side. To start the process of setting up the device, then you need to double click on both buttons to initiate the process. Then it will prompt you to set up a pin. So this is going to be four digits in length. You can go up and down the numbers by either going left or right. And then to set one of the numbers, you double click on both numbers and that will set that number and move on to the next one. You will then need to go and confirm that pin again. And once you have the digits entered, you need to double click on both buttons again to confirm the pin. The next step is then generating your 24 word seed phrase. So this is very important. It's going to show you 24 words in order and you will need to go through each of these 
and write them down in the correct order. So I would suggest using those little sheets that actually come in your box. So it just has some instructions here that I am flicking through. Then you need to double click both buttons to actually start. So I will show you the first two words here. So my first word was sad and the second word was unhappy. So I'm just going to write those down. I'm not going to show you the 24 words or else you would be able to restore my wallet somewhere else. So I'll just show you the first two words and then continue on. So once you get to the last one, what you need to do then is to verify the order of all of the words again. If you just want to go back through them again, you can just click on the left button. But if you are ready to confirm your seed phrase, then you can double click on both buttons. Then it will ask you to reconfirm the order of the 24 word seed phrase so you will have to toggle through all of the different words and assign them to each different place in the 24 word sequence. Once you are done they just give you a few warning messages to keep it in a safe place because if it is lost or stolen then all of your assets are immediately lost. Never share it with anyone, Ledger will never ask for it. And then you need to push both buttons to continue on to the next stage, which is to process the setup of your device. And now it is ready. Once your device is set up, then you can go back to the Ledger Live app. And here you need to actually add in different cryptocurrencies that you plan on storing in your wallet. So I'm just going to install the Bitcoin app here. So there's only so much storage that you can have on the Ledger Nano S. See, when I install uh, Bitcoin here, this automatically takes up 40 kilobytes of my 144 kilobyte total. So as you can see here, you only have about space for three different apps on the Ledger Nano S, which is one of its downsides. A Ledger Nano X, on the other hand, would be able to handle a lot more. Once it is then installed, all you have to do then is go to manage my accounts. Then you need to just double click both buttons on your Ledger Nano S. This will then just synchronize with your device and then you can add a new account name. So I'm just going to call this uh, Bitcoin to the moon and add account. And then you are pretty much ready to go in terms of buying and selling or moving around Bitcoin to and from this wallet. So if I come up to my account and have a look here now, I will be able to see this Bitcoin to the moon wallet is there. I can even buy cryptocurrencies directly from this wallet from Coinify, but they probably don't have the best prices. If you want to receive some Bitcoin to this wallet, then just hit the receive button and then you select your account that you want to credit and hit continue. And that will give you your wallet's address. And you need to confirm that address also on your device by clicking both buttons that they both match up. And then it's as easy as that. After you add the Bitcoin account to your Ledger Live account, it should also now show on the main home screen of your Ledger Nano S device. And that's pretty much it for the setup guide. I hope it was some way useful for anybody who was trying to set up their new device. So thanks very much for watching. If anybody wants me to cover anything else Ledger related, please let me know in the comment section or if you have any questions. I'll talk to you guys again soon.